Today I'm here in Dala in Sunfjord, a little place uh, right uh, north of Bergen. The plan is to continue north because the weather forecast is terrible the next couple of days. And I see there is much worse weather farther down south than up north. So today I think I'm going to continue all the way up to Ålesund and uh, I will sleep there for one night before I continue towards some more nice places. Here at Jölstad, and uh, it's two degrees outside, so I had to put on this silly mask, and uh, I will continue to Birchilu uh, before I stop for lunch and uh, yeah, get a little bit warm. So I'm here at Birkjelo again. Uh, the weather towards here was just terrible. It's two degrees and it's raining and snowing um, on and off. So I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna take a look at uh, some of the local food they sell here. I'm gonna get myself a cup of coffee to warm up and uh, I will have something to eat before I continue the trip.
Yeah, just a quick little update on the TKC70 uh, Rocks rear tire. It performs really good on wet and dry tarmac. I've tested it today in 2 degrees to 10 degrees Celsius and uh, it has been snowing on the ground for some parts and uh, yeah, they just perform amazingly. So for wet and dry tarmac, I can highly recommend them. So now I only need to test them properly on gravel before I can make a verdict. And of course see how, uh, how the mileage is. We had to wait 5 minutes extra for the ambulance to arrive. They were picking up the patients here, so uh, sometimes they do that. Today I'm here in uh, Olesø. I arrived last night uh, meeting up with my brother and his girlfriend in my old parents house. They are studying for an exam or something and um, today I probably will uh, ride around a little bit in Olesø, uh, meet up with a couple of friends. It's not more than eight, maybe ten degrees outside. So, but the sun is warming quite good. And there's a little bit wind, but yeah. Let's just hope for a little bit warmer weather. That would be nice.
you may ask why I don't try my brother's 500 uh, EXC and uh, the reason is I know it's a lot of fun and I probably end up buying one if I try it so I still stay the hell away last time I tried this bike I ended up on a 690 Enduro R so me and a brother just had a little trip around there in Olesund and uh, he showed me off on some local roads and uh, a little track there uh, you are able to have some fun on uh, some loose gravel and uh, yeah it was a great time so now it started to rain so uh, we're gonna get ourselves some pizza a couple of beers just gonna hang out and uh, try to have a good time Today I'm back on the road again. I think I will continue towards Molde. At the moment I'm here in uh, at Sjöholt. Uh, there's a famous uh, gas station here where all the motorcyclists tends to meet. We just call it Stoppen. And I think I'm going to continue over the mountains and. Uh, down to Vastnes, ferry over to Molde, and uh, if I'm lucky with the weather, I think I will uh, take a closer look at uh, the Atlantic uh, Coast Road today. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure where, my, where the road takes me uh, quite yet, but uh, I hope to get some really good footage uh, on the way there. Before you come to uh, Atlantrasvein, uh, it's a really beautiful place, but it's it's so windy. I cannot put up my drone to film a lot, so uh, I see if I can manage to get some footage with my camera afterwards. I just want to grab a cup of coffee and uh, I will do some filming, and I will continue to uh, ride over the Atlant Atlantic Ocean Road. The trip from Molde 
up to this place it's not that it's not that interesting but uh, when you come out here in the, the open when you see right out in the North Sea it's uh, pre pretty amazing I found this amazing uh, friluftsområde, as we say in Norway. Uh, there's a little uh, place here that uh, they made set up a grill and uh, a little place with some furniture so you can uh, enjoy the scenery. So uh, I'm gonna pitch my hammock here and uh, I'm gonna make myself some dinner and uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue the trip tomorrow. I don't wanna drive too much more today because the weather is. Uh, it's getting more cloud. It's getting more cloudy, and I think uh, we will have some rain tonight. Even though the weather forecast for tomorrow say it will be pretty nice. Fucking ants.
the famous pickle knife. Amazing uh, custom made. Well, on today's menu is uh, egg and bacon because um, uh, I was at the local shop here and it was a really poor selection of food and groceries. So I just uh, did some because I want I really want egg and bacon tomorrow morning when I wake up. So I could thought what the hell I could uh, make um, egg and bacon this evening as well. I really enjoy this campsite because it's a little bit windy on the coastline that is uh, on the other side of this uh, little hill here. So um, here is not no wind at all. So I'm gonna enjoy a good meal and then I'm gonna crawl into my hammock and I think I'm gonna go to sleep early today. And maybe I can continue my trip uh, early tomorrow morning. Good morning. Oh, it's been a great night. Damn. I sleep so great in these hammocks. It's just, oh, I really enjoy a good night outside. It's time to wake up, make some coffee, and get some breakfast. can't stress enough if you come across places like this and you camp here please leave no trace the reason we are able to wild camp like this is because we have a no trace policy so pick up your trash put it in a trash can Today I'm here right outside the Kristiansund, uh, a little place called Webernstad. And uh, today I'm going to continue my trip a little bit down south and towards Ondalsnes and uh, Rauma, I think. I'm not quite sure yet, I just have to see where the road leads me, but uh, I hope I will uh, get all the way to Ondalsnes uh, today.
into that valley right behind me now is one of uh, Norwegian's most beautiful roads. It's called Ausjevegen, uh, but unfortunately it's closed until uh, 1st of June because uh, the snow up there is, uh, yeah, it's just too much snow. But I highly recommend everyone to go ride that uh, road because it's yeah, it's one of the most beautiful roads in Norway. And be sure it's gravel road, so uh, have that in mind. But it's easy gravel, so uh, most bikes should be able to drive over there. to fill up my camel back so no better place to do it than uh, Norwegian fresh water Amazing. Well, I'm not far from Undalsnes now, so I'm just going to continue riding until I reach there. I just arrived on those nests and uh, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee, get myself the ice cream, uh, I'm gonna make myself something to eat. Mm. Mm. Chili alioli with um, shrimps and uh, yeah. Some other good fish food. They're building a new sky lift here on top of uh, the closest mountain. There is a famous spot up there called the Rampestrekan. It's popular to hike up there and it's pretty intense uh, walk up uh, and you have a really nice viewpoint on top. I'm not gonna go there today. But uh, I do think Ondalsnes is going to be a, a really nice town to visit in the future because of all the different uh, things to see here. You have Trollstein, you have uh, Trollvägen, you have uh, now the new sky lift and you have all the mountains uh, across and around and it's a short way into Ålesund or up to Atlantic Coast Road, even in Trondheim isn't that far away so uh, yeah I think Ondalsnes is uh, gonna be a really nice place to uh, to visit in the future and of course there's just something about the scenery here it's just breathtaking I really enjoy coming up there
today I'm here at a place called Haraid, just outside Olsen. Uh, I just uh, woke up early, packed my bike, jumped on the first ferry and uh, now I'm sitting here uh, on the ferry dock eating, a, eating my breakfast. And uh, my plan today is to continue down to Måle, around uh, Stadland there, a place I've been before. But I just saw on the morning news today that uh, on the east side of the country it's pouring down. And uh, I'll actually get a message from uh, a friend of mine called Eivind in Oslo. He's, um, he sent me a message on Instagram showing how much it's rained. So uh, I'm quite happy with the decision I did uh, yesterday about uh, leaving my plans for the east, uh, east part of the country instead just continue down on the west coast. I'm not sh quite sure what today's plan are. I just gonna enjoy the road, having a good time, see a lot of nice places, try to make some video of, of it. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the trip for the trip itself. Because of the cold weather and uh, the strong wind, I don't think I will reach Vaskop because of uh, it's so cloudy out there. I can't. Um, it's no point. I've been there so many times before, and there's actually no point going all the way out if it's uh, all cloudy and you can't see the view, and especially when it's windy like today.
just had one amazing talk with a local guy here from Salia. He just uh, was on a trip up these hairpins and uh, he stopped and had a chat with me and uh, had lunch while I uh, drink coffee. So uh, yeah, it was uh, quite amazing. Uh, the weather doesn't look any better. I just had a cup of coffee now and uh, down in Salia it's really windy as well. So I think I'm gonna skip Vast Cup today and we're gonna take a closer look at Connestein. So I'm just gonna pack up my gear and I will continue my trip towards Smolle. to admit it but um, this Biffsnader from uh, Fjordland is really good <laughs> it's yeah I'm uh, blown away it's great mm. and a hot dinner after a long day in uh, in the saddle and of course a little bit of Scottish fire water Ooh. Ah, it's it's been a great day without a doubt without a doubt mm. I just put my hammock right behind me it's just a rest stop uh, right outside Mole I just yeah I was just sick and tired of riding today, so I just found out it is much better to stop now than uh, trying to squeeze out one or two hours out of the day, because uh, enough is enough. Oh, good morning. 
Mm. I love waking up in a hammock like this. The sun is just about to uh, come through past the mountainside on uh, the horizon over there. It's nice with the birds singing now, but uh, at three o'clock in the night, it's not that fun. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee, I will make me some breakfast and I will make a plan how to spend the day. But first of all, I need to take a piss. But this is only a matter. It can only get better. It can only get better. Sorrow in burn every piece of it that we comfort you. I'll be your go to. Cause these are youthful days. We will grow in great worse or better. Our time is best together. You must know that I love you so. Never bargain you for your waiting gold. And this is only a it can only get better And this is only a matter It can only get better It can only get better If you see it through a single eye Today I'm here right outside Morley uh, I'm not sure the name of the exact spot but uh, I'm going to continue towards uh, Nofjordheid and I think I'm going to drive the Panorama road towards Strin and uh, from Strin I'm going to continue my road down south to Luan, Olden, Brikstalsbreen and uh, a couple of nice places there. So yeah, I think today with this weather it's going to be an amazing day. I need to refill my uh, camel back with water, so I have to see if they have a tap I can uh, refill it from here. Oh. Three liter a day. It's plenty enough to drink and uh, make me dinner and coffee and stuff like that. So, but I need to refill it every day.
today I'm uh, here at uh, Jondal. I'm going to continue on uh, some local roads here and maybe up to Folgefonna Ski Resort with a local hero from uh, Haugesund. You've probably seen him before. Hello everyone! <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take you a spin around on um, local roads and uh, before we will continue our path uh, further south. So uh, yeah, I hope to get some great footage even if the weather is ba uh, bad. Och så så här handskarna då. Ja, det är nog lite hit med en gång du får lite kött på fingrarna så är det slit. Det så här är jäkla gott för nöjd med alltså. Ja, jag ska ha med några nya det så här är det inte om om vi inte lösna in i in i ja. In ja. ja. Du är kapten. Okej. Okay. Inte det kapten. Det er en del av virkeligheten dette også for oss som lager YouTube-videoer, at vi går tommen for strøm. Som ofte så skjer det på de aller fineste stedene. So, me and Sven have just been inside uh, this restaurant, gotten ourselves something to eat. 
and uh, he will continue his uh, path towards uh, Haugesund today, back home. And um, I think I will continue a little bit further south before I find a nice place to camp. Uh, the weather today has been really poor. So uh, yeah, we had some riding footage, but uh, not as much as we hoped for because it's been pouring down all day. Oh yeah, but still, it has been a brilliant day on two wheels. Uh, now we're just uh, looking at some of the... Um, how often the ferry from uh, Matre goes. It's uh, over a little mountain here and um, down in a nice valley. And I know that ferry don't uh, go as often as uh, a lot of the other ferries here on the west coast, so... Uh... Matre, there go around 16.30, then you go on 18.55. 55, det er ikke for 5 på 7, så det er jo litt, det blir for sent. Yes, dear. What a day this has been. A lot of rain and a lot of bad weather. But it's been really nice uh, riding with Sven today. We had a brilliant time, so uh, it doesn't matter if it's, uh, the weather is poor, as long as you have good company. So he showed me off on some uh, Nice local roads, a couple of roads I haven't uh, ridden on before. So, he went back to Hegesen. And I will camp here in uh, one of my favorite spots. And uh, yeah, I have to see how where the best weather for tomorrow is.
Good morning. Today it's 17 of May, and that is uh, the Norwegian uh, National Day. So, happy birthday, Norway and all Norwegians. We're quite pat patriotic when it comes to that stuff. Mm. Ooh. Oh, oh. Mm. Uh. I need some coffee. It's 17 of May, not many stores are open today and I forgot my breakfast at home so <laughs> uh, there will only be coffee uh, this morning on uh, the national day of Norway but that's just the way it is, I'm kind of cl clumsy that way. Some of you may wonder what coffee I drink when I'm not riding like this. I just use, uh, I just drink Frile, a Norwegian brand. I know that uh, Kjernat would uh, disagree, but uh, I can live with that. <laughs> I hope you see uh, um, the wrist movement I use when I pour my water over the coffee. It's all in the wrist. Birthday in Norway. <laughs> like slicks.
I have to be honest, those toilet was not super sexy. Still early, so I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee before I start on dinner. Roughly. Timing. And since it's uh, 17 of May today, I'm gonna make myself a treat. I'm gonna make something special on the Trangia stove. Un momento, por favor. Yeah. I'm not sure how this will end, but we just have to make the best of it because I want to roll this out. Try not to get any crap on it. It's a pizza. Bo uh, it's a the dough for the bottom of a pizza. Uh, you can uh, buy those uh, finished on um, the grocery store and I have some um, pizza sauce I'm not I don't think I'm gonna use all of it but uh, I'm just gonna put some on yes next up is shiritsu uh, hot pizza topping Gotta love that. To spread it out. I just want to spread it in the middle from end to end. And then I have some uh, 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 already cut up ham. Smora chinky in Norwegian. And there's a lot of cheese, but just put good on with cheese on it because that will help uh, lubricate the pan. Thank God it's not sticky. Fucking night. And now I just need to slice up with my knife. Guess where I get this knife.
Ooh. And I don't recommend making too big slices because um, that will uh, make it harder to cook. The dough won't cook as well. And yeah, you could be five person on this one, but still. I wanted something good. I'd rather make a couple extra and uh, have for breakfast tomorrow morning. And here's another tip for you, put them on a plate and let them cool down for a couple of minutes so you don't burn the shit out of your lips or mouth because the pizza sauce gets hot. Don't ask me how I know. Wake up. Oh, the best part about every morning. Last time I was here, my kid got sick, so I had to return back home. Today I'm back where I left off last time. And my plan is to visit Lisebotten and hopefully drive over Suleskar. And uh, yeah, I have to see if I continue south or uh, north uh, after that. But uh, the highlight of today will be Lisebotten. I just had breakfast. I'm at a place called Gilja, not far from where I camped tonight. 
a guy on Instagram tipped me about a waterfall not far from here. So because it's so early in the morning, I'm gonna continue up there and take a look at it before I continue my path towards um, Lisbon. To get closer to Mona Fossen, you need to hike, and it's approximately 30 minutes each way, so it's recommended that you have hiking boots, and um, because, the because of the heat and all my motorcycle equipment, I thought I'd give the Mona Fossen a closer look at a later time. <laughs> well, it shouldn't be a problem to pass on the right side of this big hole, but uh, still, it's a far down, it's a really good long way down there, so... Yeah, as you can see, there's a barrier here, so uh, on the other side, there was no barrier. You could uh, easily go up the road uh, from the other side, so... Um, but in the beginning of the road, there was so much downfall from ro uh, rocks and stuff like that, so... Uh, I wouldn't recommend riding there at all, actually. And uh, just to give you an idea how steep it is, I'm gonna put up my drone and I'm gonna fly out above the edge. 
so you can see it's a really amazing road they should uh, try to do some maintenance on and uh, open up again. So I finally reached the intersection uh, from uh, the main road to, uh, that goes to Lysebotten. It's approximately 31 kilometers down to uh, Lysebotten and the fjord. And uh, the eagle's nest on top is a really nice viewpoint they're gonna visit. So let's see what Lysebotten has to offer.
so I finally reached Lisebotten and uh, yeah this place is just amazing blue skies and uh, all the hairpins down here are just incredible uh, to ride on a motorcycle and I can't wait to ride up again because hairpins are much easier to ride uphill than downhill the only thing I know is that I'm gonna go up again right over the mountain and uh, towards uh, Setestal uh, yeah the boat that comes in the fjord now you can actually um, book a ticket on it and you can uh, take that out to Lysefjorden. That is a really amazing uh, boat trip. Uh, but you have to pre-order or book the ticket in advance. You can't just uh, show up on the, in the ferry line. You need, to book a, you need to book a ticket. 